everyone so today I have my short hair back yes this is the real length of my hair for any of my new subscribers that saw my last two videos um, so yeah but this video is actually a makeup technique video for beginners um, I've had a lot of girls ask me how do you make your eyes look so big um, you know what's the best way to apply eyeshadow um, how do I get it from the eyeshadow going up too high so it's gonna be a few a series of them but this is the one that I teach to most people who are beginners at doing makeup or are used to doing really dramatic looks and can't seem just to do something natural without it looking like not put together so this is the look that I came up with it's not perfect it's not um, extravagant but yet it's still simple it's still pretty and it can pretty much work with any kind of colors um, I chose natural today but yeah so let's get started I'm gonna use my um, eye light eye light eyelid primer from elf the one dollar one so having an eyelid primer just helps the um, the eyeshadows last longer um, they're supposed to help with creasing and stuff like that so this is an eyelid this is called a primer also so this can be used as a primer or a base because it's sticky so what it's gonna do is it's gonna help the um, the eyeshadows really stick to your eyelid and also have more um, of an intense color and as well last longer this one is not readily available it is the eye primer in light but similar bases are the NYX jumbo pencils which these ones I've melted down into this little container um, these are the NYX jumbo pencils are anywhere from $1.99 to $3.99 and you can also use concealer if you're not one to have a lot of makeup um, like you don't need a lot of different brands or expensive makeup to do something like this this can be an everyday look or this can even be a going out look if you just threw lashes on with a bolder lip um, so yeah so those are the bases um, I'm gonna be using my Mac colors today but you can use wet and wild you can use um, elf you can use any drugstore products you don't have to use Mac to achieve this look so I'm just letting you guys know that the first the first color I'm gonna go in with what color did I use I don't even remember oh yeah just kidding um, you're gonna need three tones okay so I'm going in with cork you're gonna need a light almost to your skin tone which mine would be bamboo okay um, so find a color that is similar to your skin tone a drugstore um, product that I think is the ultimate in neutral eye makeup which actually I'm using very similar colors to the palette is the wet n wild vanity palette okay $4.99 I believe you can still get it at Target uh, most drugstores still carry it is um, a staple product I believe um, but it has a highlight, it has a medium brown, it has a dark brown, and it has a shimmer, a gold, and another shimmery brown. But those three matte colors um, are similar to the colors that I'm using today. As well, if you can get your hands on the matte palette from Wet n Wild too. These actually look really similar to the ones I'm using also. I could have used this. But anyway, this is an alternative, you guys, $4.99 for that palette as well it's limited edition go get you some I'm also giving a giveaway here on this channel so go check that out I'm also doing a contest so go check that out so anyway let's I went off on a tangent so I'm using I have three colors here I actually have more but these are the three basic colors okay I got a light a medium color and a dark color okay uh, you don't you can use black but I recommend if you're just starting out I would refrain from the black I would go with a medium toned gray or a dark brown so we're gonna go with your medium shade color and just put it on literally start right there halfway and bring it back don't go up into the crease keep it right on your lid if you have a little lid like I don't have a lot of lid space 
Um, that's, you know, or if you have like Asian eyes or um, no lid at all, I still recommend going halfway. Um, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's a small shader brush, I believe, or yeah, small shader brush. Uh, $4.99 at Target. This is definitely will help you achieve a lot of the looks that I do because I use this brush a lot. Um, so halfway and all you're doing is packing the color. I'm not sweeping it. I'm not trying to blend it. And this is going to be preference right here of how dark you want that color. So you just keep packing it on, keeping it just on the lid, okay? The next color I'm going to use, what did I do? Well, yeah, I went in with my, this is what we'll be calling the transition color, which is the color between this highlight and this crease, okay? Applying this transition color just makes your eye, your eye have more of a 3D effect. If you see that I have a lid color, and say I put my highlight on, it's just going to be highlight and lid color. And it's it's not going to really have dimension, which I see a lot of girls doing. But I'm also seeing a lot of girls on my Facebook improving their makeup skills. And I give you guys all credit for that. It's, we all start somewhere. So don't feel discouraged or that you can't blend that way or whatever. Hold on. You can get one, okay? Okay, here. Go. He wanted a starburst. Um, but yeah, it, and if you see from this look, you know, where it would say this is a highlight, okay? It, it looks just two colors. It doesn't have definition, it doesn't have dimension. And then you look at this eye, and it almost gives a 3D effect. I'm going for starburst. Okay. Oh, you already got him? Yeah. Um, and that's the look we're trying to achieve a 3D look where your eyes are going to pop, okay, without a lot of makeup. So, we have that color on. I better hurry because I don't want to talk too much. Um, so, we're going to go in with this color. Um, a similar color to this um, would be this color. Like, if you're, um, let me, I'm trying to see soft brown. What is this? This is bamboo. Soft brown texture. Um, I'm trying to think of other MAC colors. But just a color that's going to kind of, like, you can't really see it there, but you can so that's what i want like don't get like a black or a you know a dark brown um it depends what look you're going for but once you get this technique down you really can put any colors anywhere and you will still achieve a really bright bold three-dimensional makeup look <laughs> so using this brush and this is a target brush um it's just, it says crease right there and it is, I believe it was $1.99 or $2.99. It's definitely great for beginners as well as professionals. So I'm going to start um, and on your brow. This is my trick, okay? This is what works for me. Get your brow right there, okay? I don't know what to call this, like your, your inner brow. Good. It's okay, honey. It's fine. They're not going anywhere. Go sit down. He's worried about the starburst. Um, and because this kind of comes to a point and yet it's still a crease brush, okay? So you're gonna put the product right there and yeah, like some people are like, what? But do you see how that kind of creates a shadow and it makes this eye appear larger right here, okay? I think I packed it on too, too hard. <laughs> we'll fix that right here. Okay. Um, so now, I'm putting it above my crease and basically however your eye eyebrow is okay now this might look odd if your eyebrows don't really match your eyes or if you have really high thin brows um, but basically just work with it and it'll give you the same effect so and I don't have a lot of product okay I'm barely putting it in um, and I'm gonna create this circular shape just like that going back and forth and having a cream product under there helps you blend that shadow better and I suggest working with um, a matte in here you can add all shimmer right here but I really suggest that this color that you always use right here be a matte color okay so just like that it's it's a very subtle difference that makes a massive difference in your whole in your entire makeup look so we have that for right now um, next we're going to add Shroom from MAC, 
which is a fourth color but these two the two highlight colors I don't really add because you can use a matte color you can a matte color or you can use even your powdered foundation if you don't like the, the stark white um, but this is shroom any kind of medium toned frost not really shimmer but a frost okay I'm gonna put it right here and what this does is lighten up this area which I'm sure everybody hears about but it's Mommy? a trick that does work Mommy? what baby yep and all that did was lighten up this area I have really dark circles so even I'm even darker right here and um, so what I want to do is highlight that and that's why a lot of the time too I don't bring dark color over here because of this natural shadow that I have but I also want this shadow because it's gonna make my eyelid appear larger okay without actually putting like a cut crease and stuff like that so just like that for now and what you want to make sure too because I still have a line right there which I forgot sorry is going in with no product on this brush or whatever's remaining and just uh, just the top edge okay so I'm not gonna go back over it I'm not gonna stick it in a crease just the top edge of that I'm gonna blend and I'm not gonna bring it all the way um, I'm just gonna blend back and forth until that line softens up like that okay so next I know also eyeliner is scary for some people so I'm not gonna use eyeliner um, I'm using this color which is Embark from MAC you can also use brown down if this is too of like a reddish brown this is more of a chocolatey brown or you can use black or any dark color you want but I suggest a dark color okay so using a pencil brush this was a limited edition um, brush from MAC it's a 219 but um, I got these brushes at Kmart let me show you if I can find them okay yeah. this one is from Kmart and it came in a set of two this is the smaller one and the other one is just a little bit bigger version of this I got two for I think three dollars they work just as good and they're just as great I just picked up this one um, so what we're gonna do is about a third of the way in so this would be halfway for me but about a third I'm just gonna with the tip of it drag it back okay don't worry about like blending it too much just the tip you know I'm not pushing my brush so it bends just the tip and going back and forth until I get um, the intensity that I want so obviously I want it more okay now now it doesn't look blended and it's kind of scattered don't get overwhelmed or you know it's fine so to create this lift right here uh, follow this bottom lash line literally I put what I used to do to make sure I got a good line was right there where your eyelids meet your upper and lower I put the brush right there and I flick up okay now I don't want to go too far or you can go as far as you want but that creates an up um, like a little flick it's not perfect because you're using shadow and you're using a pencil brush but now, now that you got that general line, you're going to go back in and kind of fill in where this triangle is, connect it. And once you get the technique down, it, it goes really, really fast. Now, to create a more of a, um, what's the word? deeper crease what I did over here which is why it goes dark I just ever so lightly just brought it in not getting any more shadow because you're using shadow it makes it easier to move the product around okay so it looks kind of crazy oh no honey nope throw this one away you can have another one okay Life of a mommy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with the crease brush. I can't open it. 
and blend that out I got it. and this time we're going over the color okay because we want that blended out we don't want a harsh line we don't want dark right there and this still I didn't put any color on it okay and yeah you do you want nice makeup you got to take your time with it once you get it down it's easy okay so we have that and when you're starting out like don't expect it to look perfect all the time you know um, pictures can really lie <laughs> you know like if you see like when I do my pictures at the end I'm gonna edit out these two pimples because I want to look nice in my picture um, my eyeliner isn't always straight um, but that that's not what it's about it's just about learning these techniques and when you're able to when you look in the mirror and you like what you see knowing you created that and you know I think that's the best part of all um, I I sometimes are like what is that girl thinking that does not look cute but you, you know I also have a better way of understanding that you know we all start somewhere and we gotta practice we gotta throw it out there sometimes and just learn from that so this is pretty much it it's super simple oops I forgot the highlight um, I'm gonna go in with shroom again and this is a 217 and from this high point of your brow start right there back and forth and then you're gonna bring it down but you're not gonna bring it in all the way over here don't do that because you're gonna take away that shadow so you're gonna stop right there okay and then to really pop this inner corner out, I went in with the more shimmery color, which I used Dazzle Light. And I'm going to keep it right here. I'm not going to bring it all the way forward. I'm going to just keep it right here. And this kind of has more of a pink glow. So not even done. Sorry, my mind is somewhere else. With the dark color used in the crease and your pencil brush, you're going to put the dark shadow on just the outer third kind of like really use the whole brush and then the tip the whole brush the tip and what that's gonna do is it's it's gonna be almost like a very thin triangle okay depending how your eye shape is you got to work with it again too and for the mascara I'm just using a really black mascara now do you see how that doesn't look so cute but when you're like this it looks fine so I obviously like I put too much product right there but I'm not worried about it um, the overall look of this is a pretty look and that's what you guys have to remember too is um, don't take off all your makeup just because like one part doesn't look that blended or whatever just do your best and work with it you'll learn and even me as a skilled makeup artist on myself and others you know, we, I still make mistakes, but I'm not going to try to overcorrect or edit that out because I'm trying to teach you guys this, so. But do you see, I mean, it looks fine like this, and when you take pictures, it looks fine, and in public, you know, the average person is not going to be like, oh my gosh, she added too much on that side, it's so ugly, and blah, 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 blah. I notice a lot of girls put too much emphasis on that, um, of thinking that, but really, if you're just a makeup artist or an enthusiast, you'll notice it, but if I notice that some girl did that, I'm not going to hate on it, you know? And more people need to get over that. Like, <laughs> nobody is perfect, people. So, also the... I, or mascara on the bottom always no not always because there is a look that I do that lifts up my eye without putting anything underneath just concealer um, also a trick that's also a common thing is putting a white in your lower waterline I don't use a stark white anymore I used to use just milky white but it didn't look that looking back it looks better when it's more subtle so what I'm using is cottage cheese from Mac. I mean Mac from NYX, and um, it's still a white, but it's a frosty white, and it's more it has more of um like a uh, I don't want to say a gray base, but it's not stark white. So I'm gonna put that on there in my waterline. 
So you're still going to get this highlight without it being like um, super, super white under there, which some looks call for that, but not this look. So that is the final look. I think I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Don't be afraid to use your fingers, you guys, too. You know, you can... I once taught um, my ex-sister-in-law how to do her makeup using her fingers because she's not really big into brushes. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but she wanted something easy. And um, I just taught her how to use her fingers, and she's taken pictures and showed me here and there throughout the years. Um, and she still does the same technique. So, and it always comes out really nice. So, yeah. But this is the look it's put together it's polished i don't know how long this video is going to be i'm sure it's going to be ridiculously long but again remember you guys like my brain is really scattered um which is why i don't do a lot of live tutorials like this um my fibromyalgia there's a um a uh, what do you call it like a symptom not a symptom i don't know an issue one of the issues many issues is like brain fog and you know not being able to communicate that well in the things that I'm thinking in my head so I know that it's going to show through in the video and I know I'm going to hate it when I look back but I hope you guys got what I understood I will watch my video obviously over and over again and annotate what I really meant to say or what I was trying to say um this look can be done instead of using browns and neutrals you can do this with color you can do this with black and white um, this is just a simple technique to really open up your eyes. Um, it's still subtle yet classy and dramatic at the same time. And I mean dramatic because you have the dark on this outer part. So you can make it more intense. You can make it less intense. These are just some techniques that I've learned along the way and that I use on a lot of that I used to use on a lot of clients that weren't used to a lot of makeup so for you working makeup artists if your client is letting you do whatever they don't wear a lot of makeup don't do a full black smoky eye on them they I mean a lot of the times they love it but you as a makeup artist you're there to improve their beauty so if that's what it's for learn to do looks like this that are still simple and subtle yet will make a world of a difference and it, it just brings a beauty to the makeup okay so that's just my pro tip and uh, for you non makeup artists I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys end up trying this please let me know do a video response or post a picture on my Facebook I will link it in the bottom and I will do the next one which is emphasis on that transition color so I will talk to you guys soon bye bye